Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I am so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make some mini envelopes with napkin flowers. But first a shout out to Antonio Makes, Ricky, Avelina, Shelly, Christy B65, Helen, and Debbie. I appreciate each and every one of you. Alright guys, let's get to it. You can use your book pages. You can use some music pages. You could use just coffee dyed paper, but it's just regular paper. It's not cardstock. So you'll want to cut them into strips. I have some wider strips here, and I have some thinner strips. And I went ahead and I inked around the edges. So then what you'll want to do with your strip is you want to take these two points right here and you need to bend them straight down together so it looks just like that. So we just took the two ends and we just folded them together. Then we're going to take this part and we're going to bend it down leaving a little area. I'm going to pick it up and show you. Can you see, I don't want to lose those here, maybe you could see here. Can you see I folded it down, not right on here, but I went up just a little bit. So I folded it like that, make sure that's straight. Mm -hmm. Not really, but okay, <laughs> straight enough. Then we're going to take the bottom and we're going to come up to that fold, not quite on it, but right up there close and we're going to fold it again. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to put, nope, not yet, we're not going to put a notch in it. We are going to glue this though. We're going to glue these two little straps down. Let's see if I can get my glue to come out. This is something new that I've gotten. I'm having to get used to it because the glue comes out so much slower than I'm used to. <laughs> I think I've become impatient with my glue. So, just get that put down. I like it because you're still able to see what I'm doing, and it's just a tiny bit, but enough to get it to where it will stick. Now you want to get some coffee dyed paper, and we're going to cover this part right here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the glue right on. I'm not going to do it. Actually, I am going to do it right I'm going to do it right at the fold. <laughs> decisions, decisions, right at the fold. And I'm going to put the, the glue on here. Just everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and run that glue all over here. Like I said, it's I've become impatient with this glue because I'm used to it getting all right I've got it glued on so we still have a flap and it looks like this now so I'm going to ink around the edge and I'll show you what that looks like okay I've got that all inked up now I'm going to bend it back up where we had it and make a fold and quickly ink that as well. Now it looks just like a very long envelope but when you open it up you're going to journal on this part right here. Now is when we make our little thumb notch. My glue is still trying to grab hold. We're going to make a thumb notch. Just a small one. I'm not going to make a large one. Right, like that. So there we are. There's our first envelope. Well, faux envelope. It's really a faux envelope. We'll decorate this one in just a second. I'm going to set that aside. Now let's take one of our wider pieces. And I know someone's saying, well, what size is it? It really doesn't matter what size. Just whatever size you choose. This is almost three 
and we're going to cut some of this off so it's almost three across. So we're going to pull it down just like we did before, exactly the same. And we are going to pull it up, but we're making an actual envelope this time. So I'm going to fold this down. Remember, we're leaving just a little bit. We're not folding it right on the... I will try to pick this up. You can see folded like that. Now we're going to fold this up, but we're going to have it be an envelope, so I don't want it to be too awful deep. I think I might like it to be about that deep. And I need to cut this off <clears throat> right here. All right, so we've folded this up. So now when we get our glue, we're not only going to glue down our little area right up here at the top, but we're also going to glue the sides of this, the bottom up. So we're gonna glue this, and then we're going to glue this. So it's going to be a envelope, but we're going to take a little notch out of the top first before we glue it. And I'll need to ink that just very quickly here. All right, so this is also very handy because I just need a very thin, I'm going to get my head in there, try not to get my head in the videos, just a thin line of glue right down here just like that and this dispenser glue dispenser really really lays down a very very thin line of glue it's just elmer's glue in there or white school glue i didn't do that very uh, straight actually i think i'll do that again see if i can make it just a little straighter that's that's a little better. Okay, so now this is more like an envelope because you open it up and then you have your area inside. So let's go back to our first one that we made. I put it right up there. Why would we let that one dry just a little bit? And what you'll want to do now is get yourself your napkins. Now, hopefully you all have some napkins. These are napkins with some little flowers on it. Here's a napkin with a bigger flower, but you can cut these out or rip them out. I have a napkin here with some of these flowers on it. And I have this one. And I also have this one as well. But I'm going to use something new. It's a new napkin that I found the other day when I was out. Isn't that beautiful? They have fuchsia flowers on them and they're individual. So I really would like to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and tear out a fuchsia flower, fuchsia flower. <laughs> and I'm going to see about sticking it. I don't want this other image on there with it. I just want that one image. But if we get that down just like that, let me pick another something to go with it for the very top. There's another one over here. Oh, this one would be sweet. Let's see if I can get this one out. It's just a bud. Maybe something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up like this. And I have got some school glue. And I'm going to, I added some water to it. So it probably had this much glue in it. And I just put a little bit more water, about the same amount. So it's 
very runny, but that's what I want. I want it to be runny. And I'm just going to put some directly onto my book page. And I'm going to take my wider brush and I'm going to just smooth it out and put my napkin right on top, just like that. And just with what's left on my brush, I'm going to cover the top so it becomes transparent. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so this goes like this, right? So we need to decorate this part right here. So I'm just going to open it up and I've got this little bud here and I'm just, since it's a smaller piece, I'm going to put the glue right on my brush and I'm just going to put the glue on here and then just brush it like that. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to get this one. This one is a little different. So what I'd like to do is, um, first I need to wipe up my mess that I've got going on here. I've got, goodness gracious, I've got lots of glue here. Okay, so this is the front of the envelope. So I'd like to take a little piece of book, uh, coffee dyed page and I'm going to just rip out something like this. And I'm going to get my black ink and my script stamp. And I'm going to just put a little bit on the corner. And I'm going to stamp that piece of paper just like that. I'll show you what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? So it's going to look like a address. So I think I'd like to place that about right there. And I want to grab another beautiful flower. So I'm going to rip it out. Just like this. I made this video last night and I'm remaking it because the lighting was horrible. It kept going in and out of being dark and light and dark and light. It was like, I have no idea what was going on. And I said, oh, this is not going to work. I need to, I need to redo it and make it nice. So I'm redoing it. And so the video is going to be posted a little later than normal. But that's how come, because I want it to be better quality. You know, the best quality that I can give y'all, I want you to have, because you need to see what it is I'm doing. Otherwise, what good is it? So, so that's what's happening. <laughs> Just redoing it. There we are. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so we're going to flip it on the other side. Now, I can't really lay that down because it's so very wet but we're going to flip it over just like this so you have it on the back side as well and it just goes around okay so now i've got this to apply i don't want that to um whoa whoa i'm gonna try to lay it on something there i don't want that to uh get stuck to the glass mat. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto my address and I'm going to apply it. Just like that. Oh my goodness, you guys, isn't that cute? Might want to put another one maybe right up here. Let's see here. Here's another one of that color. We get over to it. I 
I hope everyone's doing well today. This morning I went out with my granddaughter and we worked on her tomato plants, pruning them and weeding them. And we needed to replace two of them that weren't doing very well. So we got that finished and now we came in and we had a little lunch and I said, oh, I really have to make that video. So that's what we're doing now. And then we have to go back out. I need to cut some flowers and then I have to green in my containers for this week's farmer's market. I'm going to bring it around? Do I want to bring it around? No, I don't want to bring it around. It won't make any sense to bring that around. But isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we need a little something more right here. So let's go ahead and see if we have another little piece. Here's a little pinker piece. I don't know why we can't do that. I think we can. So let's put some, let's put a pink one right there. Why not? And why not? She said, why not? So just a little bit more decoration there. You guys, they're so pretty. So pretty. Now I'm going to get this dried and then we're going to further decorate them. All right, you guys, I've got it dry enough. We're going to go ahead and trim off this extra napkin that's here. Don't need it hanging over. Just like that. Um, just a little bit right here. Oh, I've had some over here, too. Okay, got that done. Now, the next step that I'd like to do, oh, these are so cute. Aren't they adorable? So, let's go ahead and get our art, our Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Chance Champagne Gold. And we're just going to shake it up just a little bit, and we're going to apply just a little bit on our, a little dab will do you, that's for sure. It does not take much at all. I think that's probably all we need. Got a big glob right there. Put this back and get our smaller brush. This brush right here, it's smaller. I'm going to fluff it up. And we're going to put just a little bit on our brush. And we're actually going to go over our flower just a little bit. Just to give it a little shimmer. And a little bit goes a long ways. And this bottle I bought it, I think I bought it at Hobby Lobby and I think it was like $2.50. So it's extremely reasonable. Look how beautiful that is. Now we're going to do this side as well. Just, that was a lot. Spread it out. Now to the top, the flap I should say, the flap. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just, just put a little bit of pizzazz on it. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness. Now let's do this other one. This one has some beautiful purples and reds. You definitely have to live in a certain part of the world to be able to grow these flowers. They are not something for a beginner gardener. <laughs> no, they're not. But they are beautiful. Let's paint this right here. I 
Okay, this is how this looks. So pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, I have just a little extra. I'm just going to throw this right on here. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Next, what we want to do is we want to decorate <clears throat> our little edges of our flap. So I have this lace that's kind of dainty and it's very wide and I'm just going to cut it in half. Just simply cut it in half. If I used all of it, it would just kind of be wasteful and I just need a touch on the edge. So I'm going to get my fabric tack and I'm going to apply my fabric tack wipe off my nozzle here so it's not gross. I got an extra piece of plastic there. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to put it on the inside of my flap is where I'm going to put this lace, but I'm going to have it so that the scallop comes over the edge. Like that. And I'm going to need to trim it. And I'm going to need to put a little bit more right on the lace part. It's already on the paper, but now I need it on the lace. So that the tip gets held in place. Put it about the same spot as the other one. Just like that. I'm going to trim it. It's kind of hard to do when it's all wet still, but. Okay, sorry about that. That was a phone call from my daughter. All right, we were getting ready to decorate the tip of this, but you know, I'm going to run it around the machine because now is when I like to run it around the machine if you are going to do that. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to choose to do that. Okay, I have sewed around. I do like that look a great deal. Some extra string right there I need to cut off though. Get that cut off. There, that's better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's put our lace on the edge of this again. And then we will finish it off with another little item that we made, or I made. <laughs> you can make two. They're super easy to make and super cute. Okay, get this on here like this. Whoa, now it all came off because my fingers are sticky. That's what happens when you're sticky and you're trying to hurry. Okay. I didn't put any on here, which I need to put it on the tip where the lace is. There, that's better. Okay. Trim. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness, that's so, so sweet. All right, this is the little thing that I did next. I took my hole punch and I took just the regular, nope, not that size, this size, the regular size hole punch. And I punched out a bunch of, and I, had used a pe this piece and I had painted it with my extra paint that I had, my metallics paint. I just painted on top of here to, you know, so I wouldn't waste it. I punched these out and then I put a little bit of that glossy accents on top of them. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Oh, there goes one. So now that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to put it right here at the tip so you can make whatever color that goes with your envelope 
and it's really pretty on there. You could also use, you know, like a flower um, from a piece of lace or whatever. You could use a button if you wanted to use a button on there. But I just thought that was real sweet, and I thought it was just about the right size and the right color. Now let me show you how I, I'm not going to put my closure on those because they're way too wet with the lace, but I'm going to show you some that I made, and I'll show you that now this one see I used a little uh, flower on there and I took a little piece of the velcro closure and I just put it on the tip first and then I shut it and then that adhered the other side and I have some little pieces inside that you can use to journal on I thought that was very very sweet here's another one with one of those and the Velcro and then the little thing inside that you could journal on. You guys, I had great fun doing this with all of you. And if you had fun with me as well, please join me in my next video. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye now.